Anytime you have a video go viral on the internet, you know it's either really wholesome or something went terribly wrong in the comment section. And the latter is exactly what happened to me a few months ago. This is the food combo that almost made me quit the internet cinnamon rolls, and chili. I shared a video across my social media platforms telling everyone that we used to get served this combo in elementary school. Over 21,000 comments on my TikTok video, and most of them were either people telling me I was lying or they were saying the combination was disgusting. There were dozens of duets, and I've only watched a couple, basically the ones my friends sent me. Initially, I set out to find the origin of this abomination, as some of you call it, but time just didn't allow it. But I really wanted to prove that I didn't make this up, so my friend Kyle and I went on a little road trip through some Midwestern states to hopefully find some places that serve it. Otherwise, I'll look like a complete idiot. Our first stop was in the capital of Kansas. Topeka. It's about a 40 minute drive from Kansas City and the restaurant name is Cook's American Grill. When we talked to the waitress, she said that most people order them separately, but they do get the occasional request to combine the two, which is what we did. She did say there was a gentleman that requests it every time he comes in. After filling up our bellies on the homemade cinnamon roll and chili, we filled up the gas tank and headed to Lincoln, Nebraska, where they have a local chain that serves this combo every winter. They're known for their runzas, which are stuffed sandwiches filled with ground beef, cabbage, and onion. I also had the opportunity to speak with Becky Parrott, who is the Director of Marketing. Um, Renza has been around since 1949, and we have been serving chili um, seasonally on our menu for many, many years, decades. We had an opportunity to add cinnamon rolls to our menu back in the early 2000s, and we have a lot of, similar to yourself, where you remember having chili and cinnamon rolls probably um, as a school lunch. We have a lot of people around here that remember, remember the same thing. And so we thought, you know what, we already have homemade chili. Gosh, wouldn't it be a great connection and, and kind of fit with our brand being a a company that has a signature sandwich that has cabbage in it. We're kind of unique in that way. Um, and so we thought that chili and cinnamon rolls could play on kind of another Midwest tradition um, that we are born out of. Another talking point in my video was whether this truly was a Midwestern thing or state specific. So I asked Becky what she thought. Oh, I think it's a Midwest thing. I, I don't think that we can solely claim it as a Nebraska thing. It's it's far reaching because um, we get people um, all the time that, that say, like yourself, they're from Kansas and you remember it. So we it's not just a Nebraska thing we know. After leaving Runza, we drove an hour to Omaha, Nebraska to Lead Belly. They had vegetarian chili and cinnamon roll on the menu. So, so far we have found three places that are serving the combo. We'll see how many more we can find. These are probably the gooeyest cinnamon rolls I've ever come across. And it came sliced in half, so naturally I'm like, well, that's probably where the chili goes, right? Probably not, but I combined them anyway after trying each separately. I'm so confused right now. It's a two-parter. Am I supposed to put the chili in the center? Make a sandwich out of it? Okay. It's just meant to be, I feel like. I'm gonna get in trouble for this for sure. It was a thing of beauty and it tasted dang good too. A cinnamon roll and chili sandwich. Kyle got pulled pork on his chili and he seemed to enjoy it. The waitress came by to ask us what we thought as well. So what do you think? Have you had it before? The combo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had it three, three times today. Okay, okay. I, no, it's totally a thing. Totally, yeah. Yeah. Me personally, I don't eat cinnamon roll and chili, but I put cinnamon in my chili. In the chili, okay. You know, I'm a cornbread and chili kind of girl. Yeah. That's yeah. a good combo. But it is a good combo because you get the sweet and the savory. Exactly. Then we drove to Des Moines, Iowa because so many people in the comments said that this is where the combo originated. But we scoured the internet and called a bunch of local restaurants and they weren't serving it. We thought we would have to head to our next destination, but luckily Kyle was able to find a place in Sheldon, Iowa that had it on the menu. He called the restaurant ahead of time because it was almost four hours away and we wanted to confirm that they would have it. They said yes, so we drove to Italian Cowboy Cafe. All right, Kyle. Are you ready for this? Heck yeah, let's, let's do, it. do it. Fourth place, let's go. So when we got there, we found out that they didn't have cinnamon rolls. So yeah, I was kind of loopy at that point because I was like, what is life? <laughs> so what do you want? We'll obviously get the chili and Cinnamon corn rolls bread. and chili. <laughs> <laughs> But they did have the chili and cornbread combo, so we got that. And we didn't want to waste the trip, so we got some chili and hot dog and a spaghetti bowl the size of my head. The size of this meatball. Okay.
although they weren't serving it that day I do want to say that it's on their menu as a combo so yeah and before hitting up one last place I wanted to ask Becky where she thought this combo originated you know we actually give credit to um, public school lunch ladies for coming up with this concept I know that's when I first had it. I, it was a big deal on Fridays um, at the elementary school that I attended. It was chili and cinnamon roll day, and that was something that we always looked forward to. We're not exactly sure who was the brainiac behind it initially, but um, certainly credit the, the school lunch gals for, for a lot of it. Fourth place down, then we drove all the way back to our hometown, Wichita, Kansas. We met with Travis Russell, who is one of the owners and chefs at Public at the Brickyard. They serve a bison, chili, and cinnamon roll combo every winter, and he was gracious enough to show us how they made it at their restaurant. My name is Travis Russell. I'm the chef and owner here at Public at the Brickyard in Wichita, Kansas. We started making bison chili when Public opened in 2012, and it wasn't really until we started making cinnamon rolls separately that we realized it was such a hit together. Folks started coming in saying, can I have the cinnamon roll and the chili together? And we were like, sure, if you want to. Um, and before you knew it, we realized that we were unaware of this classic combination that, that Midwesterners really love. I, I think cinnamon rolls, on their own are just a classic. People love those. And chili on their own, uh, on its own rather, is a classic as well. I think people really gravitate towards these items in winter months um, because we're indoors um, and they're cozy comfort foods. They really kind of are the savory comfort food that really warms you when you've been outdoors in the cold. And then the, uh, the sort of sweet, um, fragrant uh, things that remind you of home, the nostalgia of, of, of the cinnamon roll, um, really the nostalgia and the comfort food level of both items I think is what makes it a perfect pair. Okay, so five places serving the combo and if we had more time I'm sure we could have found plenty more. So as much as it sucked reading the comments on my original cinnamon roll and chili video, it gave me the opportunity to go on this quick road trip with Kyle, eat some good food, and talk to some really cool people. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy cinnamon rolls and chili and hopefully sometime I'll be able to do a much more in-depth video on the origins of this combo. And to all the skeptics out there who don't think that this combo would work, I'd say don't knock it till you try it. Here's some footage from my friends who gave it a try and uh, they liked it. That's good. I, I need a whole plate of that. It's just two things I love. Chili and cinnamon roll. It's so good. I really like it. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Right? It works really well. Chili. A chili soaked cinnamon roll. Going in for a taste test. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. Some people put cinnamon in their chili. I've seen that in recipes. So this makes sense. This is something I would definitely try again. It's a salty, savory, and just a touch of sweetness. I think this actually works in this combination. Not my favorite, but I could see how it'd be really, really attractive. Eh. It was all right. Okay, let's see if this Lisa girl knows what she's talking about. You're tripping. This is good. <laughs> it's like, you know when people have pancakes and bacon and then the syrup touches the bacon? That's what this is like. I like it. I love that you're devouring this. It's really good. It's so good. We know that some of our most popular social posts will be about chili and cinnamon rolls. The people that get it and the people that are have yet to try it. 